has been preserved in the case brought by the Legal Practice Council to have Advocate Malisa Latefu struck from the role. The council says Defu shouldn't be allowed to practice law any longer. For more on this, I'm joined by Legal Practice Council spokesperson Kabele Litebele. Very good evening to you. Thank you for your time. What prompted your move as the Legal Practice Council to the High Court? Good evening, Mpo. Um, I want to start by briefly um, indicating who we are as the Legal Practice Council. The Legal Practice Council is a regulatory body and we are established in accordance with the Legal Practice Act of 2014. Our mandate is really to regulate the legal industry, but most importantly, to protect the public. So given that, what prompted um, our action against um, Advocate Defo is the number of complaints that were received between the period 2019 and 2021. And as we have shared in court, and through our founding papers, um, we gave details um, as to the kind of complaints that we've received, um, which is what prompted uh, this um, you know, strong view that um, the court should consider as striking him off the road. You, you brought 22 misconduct submissions. Perhaps uh, bring the viewer in into some of those cases. I mean, you detail cases throughout a, a long period of time. Yes, as, as I mentioned, they date back to 2019. Um, but it's, it's, it's quite important, um, important to realize that everything that we do as the Legal Practice Council, it's guided by the Legal Practice Act. Every time we receive a complaint, it goes through quite a stringent process. We've got legal officers who are admitted attorneys who look at the matter to say, does this legal practitioner have a case to answer? Only then, when we can see that there potentially is a case to answer based on the rules and regulations that would take a matter to an investigations committee, a disciplinary committee, or in some instances, really um, take the matter for to a court, uh, for, for the court to consider, um, to consider uh, either suspending or striking the practitioner off. Uh, but with regards to Advocate Defoe specifically, some of the um, some of the matters, the complaints we've received, uh, they, they range. Uh, we, there's complaints about, of, of assault, there's complaints of uh, misappropriation of funds, there is, and this is over a period of time. Um, and in fact, more recently, uh, there is one or two examples of clear, um, of, of, of concern, let me rather say of concern, um, especially what, what transpired during um, the well-documented case. So hence, we thought as the Legal Practice Council, given what is expected of the legal practitioners as stipulated by the Act, um, that he has a case to answer in court. So you've brought this application to either have Advocate Defo suspended or struck from the role. I mean, those, those are two different matters. What would each entail depending on which side that the court um, goes? At Mpo, we were very clear. The, the legal, our legal team are going for a strike off. And, um, you know, one of the, the complaints is actually misappropriation of funds. Now let's take it, um, make it a, a practical example. You're working through a legal practitioner, um, there's funds involved and those funds don't get through to you. You know, that at any, it's, it's not, it's, it's a serious matter. And, um, you know, it is something that um, the Act, uh, remember we get it by the Act. The, the Act requires that when there are complaints like that, they're taken seriously. So um, Advocate Defo does have a number of those. We have presented them to court for court to consider and make the decision as to whether court agrees with us um, around the strike off. The issue of suspension, um, our legal team made it clear that, look, in the event that the court doesn't agree um, that he should be struck off, um, which is our view, um, then the court should consider suspending him, given that it's 22 uh, complaints and given the serious nature of those charges and given the precedence of, of what has happened with such cases before. And that's, that's why we took a rather stern view um, in this matter. 
Advocate uh, Defoe has claimed that your application as the Legal Practice Council is all part of a scheme by police because he was uh, winning labor court cases and that in itself may have been deemed a problem. What would your remark be? Well, um, w w no remark really because the, cost, the court has to consider. We've presented our 22 complaints. We have argued why he should be struck off. He has argued in opposition to that. The court then has to take both views and say, given all of that, what is the decision? Um, but look, we, <sighs> he's accused the president, he's accused everybody, you know, so we, 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 we are quite comfortable that we are acting in accordance with the Legal Practice Act. And that's really all that matters. And the court needs to make a decision as to, you know, whose who's, um, accession uh, should, be, should be taken more seriously. You, you say that the role of the Legal Practice Council is to regulate the industry and protect the public. And we perhaps, as the public, have seen more of Advocate Difu during the Senzo Megiwa matter, which of course has brought a lot of um, you know, shocking revelations that have come out and some, some, some of it which uh, sort of begins to make sense in the mind of, of those uh, of the court, the public court, uh, so to speak. What are, are your main concerns when it comes to protecting the public and the legal practice space? Look, essentially the Legal Practice Act is an act that was established in 2014 with a specific mandate of regulating the profession. And by the profession I'm referring to attorneys, I'm referring to advocates, I'm referring also to candidate uh, practitioners. Now, the act is there because you have over 40,000 uh, legal practitioners in the country. Now, you can be dealing with any one of them. And the Legal Practice Act is there to protect safety to you and me in an event that we feel that there is um, a contravention of rules or a concern. You can come to the Legal Practice Council and present a matter, and we are obliged by law to look into it. So in, in that term, um, in, in, Given that, that is how we then we would um, give protection because where there is um, clear contravention of rules, we, we are absolutely um, obliged to act like in, in the event, this instance that we were dealing with, we can go to court, request the court uh, to consider suspending the legal practitioner or in extreme cases uh, request that they consider a strike off. So suspending him, would that mean that uh, for a certain period of time he wouldn't be allowed to practice law? And what could the possible conditions be should that be the, the case, just uh, you know, in terms of depth and understanding? When we take a matter to court, it's, it's well considered and it's serious. And um, when, when there is a suspension, we essentially are saying or the court, the court is saying that you cannot practice, you cannot give advice, you cannot appear in court, you cannot essentially practice as a legal practitioner in the country because the court has said so. But the Legal Practice Council is the, the body that is able to then present the case, given the investigations that we have done and given our expertise, um, you know, as legal practitioners, um, that look, this, this person is not fit and proper. To be given, to be giving uh, advice or interacting with the public on legal matters. So when we do go to court, it's serious, and it's not a decision we take lightly. But it's important to always remember that this is about protecting the public. We will not go to court unless we feel um, that you know that, that there is a danger to the public. And um, our case and how we present them is always for the court to see why um, it, it's, it's in the country's or the court's interest to suspend or strike off um, a legal practitioner. So when does this matter resume again? Because we know that uh, Advocate Defu claimed that he was not aware of the process, even though um, his answering affidavit shows that he'd received the founding papers. When are you hoping for this matter to, to now get ahead? 
So um, the judges indicated that a, they, us considering a matter and the reserving judgment, we still do not have a date. We are hoping that uh, the court would inform us, uh, hopefully within the next week or so, as to when uh, they will um, pronounce on the ruling. Um, but so far, we don't know. We, we're waiting for the court to tell us. Very well. Thank you so much uh, for, for your time. Uh, joined there by Legal Practice Council spokesperson, Kabelo Litebele.